We're going to demonstrate the press action monitoring feature of the SA Development Press Monitor. This feature watches the actions you take on your press and if any of them are out of sequence or missing it will let you know about it. I currently have it configured for a Dillon 550 which is a progressive press but it has a manual shell plate that you rotate by hand. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and I'm going to start cycling the press. I'm going to pull the handle down. I'm going to push the handle back up in prime, and I'm going to rotate the shell plate. You'll notice that you can just keep repeating this, and as long as you're doing everything right, the press monitor will happily follow along with you. But uh, one big issue that some 550 users have had is that they will forget to rotate the shell plate. And if you do this, the real risk is that you can double charge around by cycling it through the powder measure twice. So we're going to go ahead and simulate what the press monitor will do if you forget to rotate the shell plate. I'm going to pull down on the handle, push up and prime, and instead of rotating I'm going to go ahead and pull down on the handle again. You can see that the press monitor issues a double stroke check all stations error. I'm going to press ignore to clear the error. And at this point you would certainly want to look over your shell plate, make sure you haven't double charged around, remove cases if necessary, and start fresh at least you now know okay something went wrong and, and I need to be alert to it so the um, mode that it's now in with the ignoring sensors is a mode where you can make those corrections you can go ahead and push the press handle back up and you can rotate it and you can do all that needs to be done to fix the error once you're ready to resume monitoring you simply need to uh, press the ignore button again and it will leave ignoring ignore mode and go back to monitoring mode so the um, other issue that you can catch on a Dillon 550 is if you try to rotate the shell plate twice. This isn't as common an issue as forgetting to rotate it, but um, if you try to do that, the press monitor will certainly make you aware of it. I'm going to go ahead and pull the handle down, push the handle up, rotate once, rotate twice. You can see that it catches that error as well with a double shell plate rotate, and I'm going to press ignore. To clear the air. So that demonstrates uh, a couple of the errors that you can get on a Dillon 550. I'm going to go ahead now and go into setup by holding the ignore button. At the bottom it says hold for enter setup and I'm going to do that. We're going to change it so that it believes it's connected to a Dillon 650 press. That's under the main settings and it's easy user interface to pick what you want it to uh, what you want your settings to be. So I've now selected the Dillon 650 and I'm going to exit setup and we're now back to monitoring mode. Now when I pull the handle down now and push the handle up to prime it is no longer going to ask me to rotate because the 650 has automatic indexing so it's going to do that rotation for you. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the handle down again push the handle back up to prime pull it back down again push it back up to prime What's going to happen with a 650 is uh, it'll, it'll catch other errors, and these errors can also be caught on a 550, but since it occurs on both presses, I thought I would show it on the 650, is that if you pull the handle down, but you don't pull it down all the way so that you are fully cycling the press and then push it back up, you'll get a short stroke. Okay, This is a short stroke error. I'm going to go ahead and press ignore to stop the beeping. Uh, the problem with the short stroke error is that you may have not cycled your powder measure fully or even at all and it, it could produce a round that has no powder or much less powder than you expected. So that's an error that it will catch on the 650. I'm going to go ahead and press ignore to get out of that mode. The other thing about the uh, press monitor is that if any action is not what it expects it will give you an error. So you know if you do something strange that it really has no idea what 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 happened but it knew that it wasn't what it expected you'll get this bad sequence error so if I press ignore we'll clear that error and you notice right now it's in an unknown press state that's because I have the uh, press handle not fully up or down and, and on the 650 press you need to resume from the handle being down or up if I pull the handle down it'll let me resume from that position but if I want to push the handle up all the way it'll let me resume from that position but if you got the handle in the middle it doesn't know what to do with that it, it expects you to resume from a known state so that pretty much concludes the press action monitoring feature of the press monitor it's really designed to um, 
protect users from making a, a small mistake. And sometimes when you've been you've been loading for a long time, you know you you might miss something. And uh, I, I my first inclination is to say that the the best monitor is your own eyes. You need to keep your eyes on what you're doing. And I don't think of the press monitor as any sort of replacement for that. I think of it as extra protection, kind of a, a friend looking over your shoulder that will uh, keep track of what you're doing. And if something goes wrong, they'll say, hey, you know, you, you did something wrong here and you need to correct it. So the, um, the press monitor will also do a lot of other things, and we're going to cover those things in other videos. It has a, a wide array of statistics and other features, too. So if you want more information, I would highly suggest you look at the, the manual because it covers every feature. It's about 30 pages, and you can download the PDF of it at our website. It's www.pressmonitordevice.com, and there's also a, a contact support link there or sales link that you can click. 